situation, a bad situation, but I'm coming to tell you right now, in spite of what you went through, God woke you up this morning. And God woke you up this morning, and you got up out of bed this morning, and you got in your car, or got on your bike, and you got here this morning. So that lets me know already, you've already overcome that thing that God took you out. Bibles to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Find your way around to verse number 8. We will close out the year of 2013 with this simple message of never stop dreaming. Amen. Never stop dreaming. I don't care what you're going through, what you've been through. I don't care how many times you've fallen down, how many times you fell. I declare today you will never stop dreaming. The victory is not in how many times you've been victorious. The real victory is how many times have you been able to get back up and keep going. Anybody can shout when you're on the winning side. But can you still stay focused? Can you still declare I have faith when it looks like ain't nothing going right in your life? When your marriage is messed up and your house is messed up and your money is funny and your body is sick and everything around you seems disembobulated, can you still say I won't stop dreaming a dream? Can you still say that God is good when everything around you seems bad? Well, I come to tell you this morning, in conclusion of another year, you made it all the way through. The devil thought on the first Sunday of this year, he would shut you down and stop you. But somehow you made your way over to the second Sunday. And the second Sunday became the fourth Sunday. And then a new month came, and he thought he would shut you down in February. But you kept on pressing. Next thing you know, it was April, but you were nobody's April fool. Next thing you know, it was summertime, and he sure will get your car in the summer breeze, but you kept on forcing your way through. Water didn't shut you down. Storm season didn't shut you down. The holiday blues didn't shut you down. And you look up, and the last Sunday of 2013, you still in God's house, so you made it. I dare you give God the praise right now. voice of God, the best is still yet to come. Don't care how old you are, how young you may be, the best is yet to come. Turn your Bibles, if you will, to the book of Hebrews. While you're standing, let's go to chapter 11, verse number 8. If you don't mind, we'll just teach. Verse number 8, we began reading, then we would jump down to verse number 11. This is giving you the pretext of the text. Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 8. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as an inheritance, obeyed and went. Paul's, even though he did not know where he was going. Yeah. Jump down to verse number 11. By faith, Abraham, even though he was past age, and Sarah herself was bearing, was enabled to become a father because he considered him faithful who had made the promise. The promise. Uh -huh. Considered him faithful who had made the promise. He put his faith in the right source. That's why he could never stop 
dreaming because his dream was not originated from man but his dream was originated from God take your seats and turn your Bibles to the book of Genesis chapter 11 we're going to just walk through the text turn your neighbor never stop dreaming no matter what it looks like or feel like never stop Dream. Find your way over to the book of Genesis, chapter 11, verse 31. I'm going to just be the professor on this morning and teach the Word of God in such simplistic terms that you will be able to follow and win. The Bible says in Genesis, I'm walking you through the story of Abraham so you understand what they were talking about in Hebrews chapter 11. The Bible says in verse 31 of Genesis chapter 11, Terah took his son Abram. Abram and Abraham is the same person. He just hasn't been transformed yet. Because I don't care where you are today, there was a OU. You may not want anybody to know about the OU. You may even have forgotten about the old you. You may be fronting and pretending like you ain't never been on the other side. You've always been where you are right now. You've always been holy, saved, and filled with the Holy Ghost. You've always been in your right mind. You've always been a good decision maker. You, 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 you've never made a boo-boo. You, you've never messed up. Uh, you, you can tell them that if you want to. But the Bible introduces us to Abraham as Abram before he became before he became, the Bible says, Terah took his son Abram, his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarah, the wife of his son Abram, and together, so I say together, together, and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldees to go to Canaan, but when they came to Haran, they settled there. I want to stop right there and pause right there. Notice the Bible says, together they set out Together they set out. Let me show you again. Together they set out. As a team, they set out. A group of people set out to go from one location, a place of heathens, a place where, where darkness resided, a place of evil, a place with a negative reputation, uh, a place that's down and out. They set out to leave that place and go to a better place. They all started to go to Canaan. Canaan was the dreamland. It was the place of promise. It was God's destiny. It was like Holy Land Hawaii. They, they were all getting ready to go to a better place and they all left together. But notice the Bible says in verse 31, but when they got to Haran, they settled there. That was not the destination. That was not the promised land. That was not where they were supposed to end up at. But if you're not careful, you'll find yourself settling in some places that God did not design for you to be in. You may have been supposed to pass through there, but that was not supposed to be your settling point and your final destination. And I'm preaching to the people right now who have settled in some places and locations that God did not assign you to. If they can't get beyond your mistakes, you got to learn how to let them go. If they still refer to you as the guy that used to get drunk, used to get high, used to be out of his mind, if they still refer to you in the whole pit you used to be in, it's time for you to let them go because you're now living in the palace. If you hold it now and he treat you like a hoochie, let him go. Stop letting other people give you your value. Yes, yes, I don't give a hoot about your praise or my name. Well, they say, they say, I ain't gonna never be that. They say, my mama, they say, my daddy, they say, my papa, they say, nobody from this side of the track, nobody from this hood, nope. 
Newsflash, nobody in Abram's family knew God before Abram. But that didn't stop Abram from becoming God's man. Stop letting what nobody else never had the faith to do to determine your destination. I don't know another man in my family that's ever led a misery to make a status, but I'm not looking at my history to find out my future. I know what God told me, and I ain't got to refer to my family tree to become the fruit that God said I was. And just because there's a bunch of nuts on your family tree don't mean you got to be a nut too. Leave your people. Yeah. Jesus. And he says, leave your family's household. Uh -huh. yes. Leave your father's household. Yes. In other words, he said, leave your father's spirit of defeat. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Don't think. Because your father's spirit had become defeated. Uh -huh. you time, but you got There's nothing move. worse uh -huh. than for a man to lose his spirit. Yeah. I and Mike Tyson was a force yeah. until he lost his spirit. Yeah. 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 As long as he believed he was invincible, no one could touch him. That's right. But when a lucky punch knocked him out, and he started doubting who he was. Yeah. And he started surrounding himself, watch this brothers, he started surrounding himself with yes men. Because he no longer believed in who he was, so he had to surround himself with people that would pump him up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's good. Examine your crowd. Uh -huh. Have you surrounded yourself with yes men and yes women? Or do anybody around you love you enough to tell you you off track? Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's good, Pastor yeah. Jacka. You out of shape. Yeah. Yeah. You're losing focus. Uh -huh. Bible says, leave the spirit of defeat. Uh -huh. You were designed to be defeated. You were designed to be a conqueror. You were designed to be a warrior. You were designed to be a blessing. You were designed to be God's spokesman. You were designed to be God's ambassador. You were designed to be the beacon of light. Stop letting your situation shut you down. God continues to give instructions. Uh -huh. He says, go. go. So I say, go. go. Go to a land I will show you. Yes. So you've been going to places that folks said it looked like you belonged. Oh, no. they made that decision. You let people tell you uh -huh. what God had in store oh, for you. Uh -huh. But God said, go to a place will show you. Because if God sent me to a place that he will show me, notice you, you saw in Hebrews the place Abram had no awareness of. Abram did not know what God was doing, yet he obeyed God. Is there anybody in this house this morning that has made your mind up in 2014? I don't have to understand the whole plan. I'm just going to follow God. I'm going to trust God. When I hear the voice of God, I'm going all in. I don't need to see who else going to march. I don't need to see who else going to walk. I don't need to see who else going to respond. When I hear the voice of God, I'm going to be like Peter and jump out the boat in the water. And whoever jump with me, that's good. But if don't nobody jump, I'm going to keep jumping. I'm going to keep walking by faith. And I'm gonna trust God even when I don't see God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. God is looking for some people. Yes, yes Lord. In Egypt to bless right now. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Will you be one of them? Yes, Lord. Amen. Is there anybody in the house that's in Egypt right now? But you wave your hand and shout. Anybody going through something right now, but you made your mind up, yet I will praise the Lord. Anybody money in Egypt, yet you decided, I'm going to sow my way out of Egypt. I'm going to keep on praising God, even though I'm in the midst of an Egyptian phantom, even 
even though I'm in the midst of a negative situation, I'm going to give the Lord all that I have. Do I have anybody here right now that you're going in Egypt, but you made your mind up, my family won't die in Egypt. My finances won't be stuck in Egypt. There would not be a generation born in Egypt. I'm just passing through Egypt. Bless you. 
you uh, in the midst of what you're going through right now. I dare you to jump up right now and start praising God uh, because God is getting ready to bring you out. Uh, but when he bring you out, uh, you're going to be better than when you went in. Uh, you went in broke uh, and God going to bring you out wealthy. You went in sick uh, and God going to bring you out healthy. You went in mad and sad uh, and God going to bring you out glad. Uh, can you give God some pre-praise uh, right here, right there? Uh, can you talk praise in right there? Uh, can somebody holler yeah? yeah. Can somebody holler yeah? yeah. Can somebody tell God amen? Uh, I'm in agreement uh, with the blessing of Abraham. Uh, drop it in my lap. Uh, I'm the seed uh, of Abraham. Uh, I'm getting ready to come out. Session, you increase like never before. Just keep dreaming and walking by faith. Yeah. Drop down to verse 3 and 4. From Nineveh, he went from place to place. God had him moving around until, but see, you got to keep moving. So keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep, keep, keep moving. If that don't work, keep moving. If that don't work, keep moving. If that don't work, keep, see, see, you settle too often. Keep, keep moving. If, if you cry too much, you keep moving. If you're in pain, keep moving. It was the Lord that saved you. It was 